I'm whopping you two rival gaming here. <laughs> What's up everyone, thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be wall breaching into a vent I've always wondered what was inside. Back in the day, I remember seeing this vent and I tried multiple different ways to get in it and of course I was unsuccessful. Now there's a glitch to be able to wall breach into it with the warlock and that's what I'm gonna be doing. In case you guys are wondering what vent am I talking about to let you guys know real quick, you know the vent that you could destroy and once you go in the vent and walk through it a little bit, you could get a ghost. That would be bad. It looks like that. Or like the event you could destroy to go into K6's secret room. You guys are familiar with that one. Hey, you found one of my secret rooms. Good times. Help yourself to the glimmer, but leave the exotics for me. When I get out of this tower, ooh, ooh. It looks exactly like that. Except, it was indestructible. It wasn't like the others where you could destroy it. So in this video, I'm gonna be finding out what is behind it because you can see a room looking through the vent. Hope you guys end up enjoying this video, and if you do, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could leave a like. Let's see if we can get this video past 2,000 likes. That'd be freaking awesome to see. Also, by the way, guys, I am giving away a PlayStation 4 Pro. And I know I say this quite a bit, so I'm going to save that spiel for the end. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Oh, daggone it! That wasn't supposed to already happen. These enemies just spawned when I was about to go inside the base. You're going to have to bring your Sparrow in the base, so I suggest clearing out this place first. And also, by the way, be on the Promethean Code mission. That mission is on Earth, in case you guys are wondering where that mission is. And it'll take you through all of this. And you have to kill a bunch of enemies. But clear out all the enemies until you get to where the vent is. As you can see, I'm still on the route to get there. But I honestly thought this was freaking awesome, and I can't wait. Ooh, I almost fell off. Whoa. What am I doing? Can't wait to show you guys what's actually inside the room. And this wasn't found by me, by the way, this glitch. Squish was found by a guy that goes by Invis Gaming. I'll leave a link down below to his channel. Good find, Invis, because I was very curious about this back in the day. It's awesome to see that we can see the room now if you're watching this. Okay. So I'm getting kind of close here. My buddies are already down there at the ventilation system. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and get on the mic and talk to them. Nah, 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 nah. It's alright, it's alright. Okay, get Oh no, these enemies spawned back! You gotta be kidding me. Don't tell me these did too. Okay, thank goodness. What are these knuckleheads doing down here? What the heck is going on? Just dancing. Okay. So, this is the vent that I'm talking to you guys about. He's just shooting like a madman at it. You cannot destroy it, but if you look closely, you can see a room. Wow. He just destroyed my sparrow. Why did you destroy my sparrow? My bad, alright. Okay, okay. Oh, dang it, so the sparrow, I guess, despawned. Makes sense, I was explaining to you guys. But, as you can see... Ah, oh, dang it, can't. It's hard to see with this scope. Maybe you can see better with this. You can kind of see a room. First off, you can't see the vent leads somewhere. Oh, there it is. Bam. That was it. I don't know if you guys saw it. You can see it again. What is going on behind me? Golly. Anyways, you can see the vent. It's going. And it leads down to a room. See? My character keeps messing up. But yeah, we're glitching in there. I don't know if you guys saw that. I need to go get my sparrow again. Don't worry, I'm not going to let you guys watch this part. Alright, I had to run all the way back to the very beginning here. Well, not 
the very, very beginning of the mission, but I had to run all the way outside. Hoo wee. That's a mission. You go all the way back out to get your sparrow. But at least you can do this in a limited amount of time. So if you fail, you can still do this again, which is nice because I already failed once. Okay, so now what you have to do is first off, don't park your sparrow like this because you're getting off that way. The goal is to go toward the vent. And check this out. As you can see, I'll pop up at top there. We're going to have to actually kill ourselves halfway through this vent, basically, so we can spawn, so our ghost will be inside it. And then we can just self res and we'll be in there. So here we go, let's try this. Okay. I'm gonna have to stick the sparrow before doing that. And get on the sparrow, then get off it. And I think I did it. Yep, I did it. As you can see, my ghost is underneath the map. And bam, when I spawn, I'm in. Freaking awesome. I don't know what's that way. But let's check this out. Look. The ventilation system, it leads down, and there's just a random room here, and door. That would be crazy if I could just open that door like that. As far as what's in this room, or why the developers decided to make this, I'm not sure. Maybe the goal was to make the atmosphere seem bigger. So they thought if players would look through this ventilation system and see this, they think, oh, cool, the vents lead places and make the players curious. Then again, this could have been just strip content. They were going to add something down here and decided not to. I don't really know. Pretty wild, though. They're still attempting. <laughs> What is that? Yeah, nothing interesting in here, though. I will say that much. But if you guys have any ideas of any other places that you want me to do this wall breach glitch at and find out what's inside, let me know in the comments down below. And if I like your idea, I'll actually crop it out and paste your idea into that video to let people know that you told me about doing this. And, oh yeah, about the PlayStation 4 Pro giveaway, in case some of you are curious about that and was wondering in the very beginning. I am giving away a PS4 Pro. It costs quite a bit, but I think I will get a lot of support and appreciation out of giving something like this away. All you have to do is simply leave a like on my videos to show some support. Not like my older, older videos, but the videos that you see and click on, just leave a like to show some support. Subscribe if you haven't, and it would be greatly appreciated if you could click that bell to stay notified with me. Also, sometime go down below in the description and go check out my Facebook because there I will be actually updating statuses letting you guys know when the PS4 Pro giveaway will be ending. But I'll just let you guys know here in case you're curious when it will be. It'll be ending at the end of next month. It's finalized. So, good luck to everybody that decides to enter into this. I appreciate all your guys' support for me giving this away. I might do more giveaways like this, depends on how much actual support I get from doing this, but I don't know, I think I'm going to stop doing giveaways for a while now, because I'm also starting to get a lot of hate out of these giveaways, people are saying I'm faking my giveaways and everything, and I'm really not, I'm not, that's the, the part that bugs me out, I'm spending my cash on these systems and giving them away to people that I don't even know, and... It sucks that some people are calling me a liar over it because I'm not. That's the crazy part. I'm out here though, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm excited to see some of your guys' ideas if you have any. Till next time. Peace.